And I started doing radio at a very young age. I was 15 years old in Detroit. As a matter of fact, I was so young that I couldn't do my whole show live because I was on from eight to midnight every night. And uh, after school, I would have to go to the radio station, record my last hour and a half because my show was from eight to midnight and I couldn't work past 1030 legally. So I'd have to go into the station after school, record my last hour and a half, go home, do my homework, have dinner, come back to the station, do the show live from eight to 10.30 and then put on tape and leave. You know, which is just, uh, it was really cool. You know, I just uh, was so blessed to um, get my start in radio at such a early age, you know, just, it, it was fantastic. But I remember some of the coolest things being on the air back then, you know, cause I, I guess I've always been like this where I'll, I'll get in a mood and, you know, I may play three or four Smokey songs or Stevie songs, or whatever. And this happened in Detroit where I did that. I played three, four Smokey songs and Smokey called on the request line. <laughs> he didn't even have a hotline number. He just called on the request line. Hey man, hey baby, just listening to you, man. You know, and I put him on the air and did an interview with him. Same exact thing happened with Stevie. You know, that was Detroit at that time. I mean, how cool was that? You know, and especially for me, you know, growing up, uh, a kid in Detroit, man, where I looked at every Cadillac that went by, hoping to see Smokey or Stevie or one of the Temptations or one of their cousins or their hairdresser, anybody, man, you know, would have been cool with me. You know, anybody connected to that Motown thing, man, it was just, it was just magical, you know, but it was just such a special time to be in Detroit for me. And, uh, you know, I started my career, it, whew, God, this is aging me, but uh, in 1969, you know, that was the year I started on radio. Uh, same year, uh, Diana Ross said goodbye to the Supremes with that lie, someday we'll be together. That wasn't the truth. They never got back together again. <laughs> and it was the same year uh, that the Jackson 5 debuted. Man walked on the moon. It was a great year. And that was the, the start of my uh, run in radio. And um, so, so anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. This just how cool Detroit was back in the time. And the, the guys before me, though, the DJs right before me, that I, you know, I worked with them. They were older guys, but they used to talk about how the Motown producers would come to the station sometimes late at night with their acetates. These were test pressings of songs, and ask them to play them for them on the radio. And they go out to the car so they could hear it in the car. They wanted to hear how it sounded on the radio, you know, before the final mix, you know? That's some cool stuff, man. That's, those are some really cool stories. And I just missed that, you know? But I did get Smokey and Stevie on the request line. <laughs> how cool is that? And, you know, and, and then I gotta tell you this, that it trips me out that to, to this day, that, you know, these guys are friends of mine, you know? It's like, how does that happen? It's just, you know, I, I guess I've always suffered from this thing of just not feeling worthy, you know, that these are very, very special people. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's not like a trip. I mean, you know, we, we wouldn't be friends, I guess, if it's like that. But, you know, there, there are times, you know, when you're like, man, man that's Smokey, <laughs> you know? I just said Smokey call, <laughs> you know? And uh, I, I'm grateful for it, though. I'm grateful for... Um, those friendships to, you know, because while they're legends, they are people, you know, just like anybody else, you know, and um, I'm grateful for their success and their friendship. So I have no idea where I started out with this. So I have no idea how to end it. So I'll just say bye now and thank you for watching. Hi, mom. <laughs>